Three final operational clearance standard Tejas fighter jet of the Indian Air Force have landed at Dubai, to take part in the Dubai Air Show 2021, that will be held from 14th to 18th November, and will be a big opportunity to demonstrate its capability to prospective customers. Russia has also sent its Su-75 at the Dubai Air Show, which marks the first overseas debut of the new single-engine stealth fighter jet and the Su-75 teaser video had also indicated that the United Arab Emirates is one of the prospective clients of this new fighter jet. The Tarmac Media House has revealed that Hindustan Aeronautics has started the manufacturing of two Tejas trainer aircraft, that is part of the 18 Tejas trainers ordered from the Indian Air Force in two separate deals. The 18 Tejas trainers will now come in FOC standard, and will see the inclusion of the mid-air refueling probe, and will be capable to fire the Astra and Iderby missiles, and will also carry two fixed fuel tanks of 1,200 litres and 800 litres capacity, that will allow it to fly for longer missions. After completing all major harbour and sea trials including weapon and sensor trials, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has delivered the fourth Scorpion submarine INS Vela to the Indian Navy, that will further boost the anti-ship anti-submarine intelligence and surveillance operations of the Indian Navy. The fifth submarine has already started harbour trials, and will go for its maiden surface sortie in December, while the sixth submarine is currently in the advanced stage of outfitting. After the latest claim by the French website Mediapart, that alleged kickbacks of at least 7.5 million euros in secret commissions were paid by Dassault Aviation using fake invoices between the year 2007 and 2012 to a middleman involved in the Rafale deal, the ruling BJP party has now targeted the Congress, over the alleged corruption at a time when the Congress was in power. The alleged middleman in the Rafale deal during the Congress rule, is the same middleman who is accused in the 12 August a Westland helicopter scam during the Congress rule. In a significant development, India's DRDO and Israel's Directorate of Defense Research and Development have signed a bilateral innovation agreement, under which the startup companies and industries from both sides will jointly develop next-generation dual-use technologies and products in the areas such as drones, robotics, artificial intelligence, quantum technology, photonics and biosensing, and these products will be customized to meet the unique requirements of both the countries. The commanding chief of the Indian Army's training command visited the facility of Saga Defense Engineering, and he reviewed the features of the USV-4 fully autonomous unmanned surface vessel developed by the company, that has an endurance of 48 hours at sea, and is easily deployable from the port with the advanced mission control system, and can be used in mine countermeasures and anti-submarine warfare operations. He was also demonstrated the Spectre, which is a rapidly deployable aerial system designed to carry high and low altitude surveillance photography and sensor deployment. The CBI has asked the government's permission to invoke the Official Secrets Act against the arrested Indian Navy officers, who were recently accused of leaking the confidential and sensitive information on Kilo-class submarines and three more naval projects to retired Indian Navy officers who were working for a South Korean submarine builder, that is interested in India's Project 75I. China State Shipbuilding Corporation Limited has delivered the first of the four Type 54 frigates to Pakistan Navy, and said that the new frigate has a better air defense capability, as it is equipped with an improved radar system, and a larger amount of missiles with a longer range, and that it features world-class stealth capability. After signing the agreement for the joint development of air launched unmanned aerial vehicle, India and US held the 11th Defense Technology and Trade Initiative Group meeting virtually yesterday, and the two sides discussed ways to further encourage development of advanced technologies, and secure the supply chains in critical sectors like the semiconductor industry.
Oh, Mark dropped it.